Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over a cool tool and I'm gonna show you how to bypass some security measures like Windows Defender or MDE and stuff like that. So if you guys are new to the channel, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. And let's get into it, right? Let's get into the fun. We're gonna go ahead and install this in Kali Linux and I wanna go ahead and demonstrate this with a Windows 10 machine that's fully updated, fully patched, and I just did a quick scan to make sure all is good. And we'll get into that in a second. So this is the tool, DS Viper. And if you just, you know, it's a, it's on GitHub and it's from awesome, awesome friends that I had the luxury of trying out this tool. So hats off to Danish and Sumat. I really, really appreciate it. And calling you a friend is, is my pleasure. So thank you for all the awesome work that you're doing in the community and keep it up. So what is DS Viper? Obviously, it's a powerful tool designed to bypass Windows Defender security mechanisms. So it's an awesome, awesome tool. I had the, like I said, I had the luxury of trying it out. It worked and I was pretty amazed. So now I'm just going to come around to making a video and showing you guys how to use it and all that good stuff. So once you clone the repository, which is pretty simple, right? We just walk through the manual installation get cloned cd to it and install the requirements what you can do option number two is a scripted installation chmod ins uh, install dependencies.sh and you can just utilize uh, then install the you know the bash script and then how do you use it you go ahead and make the vs uh, viper executable and run it it's pretty pretty self-explanatory straight to the point so I already have all that cooking. So let's go ahead and let me do an LS here in my tools. So I wanna go ahead and CD to that directory. Okay, let me just make this as big as I can. And in here we have the tools or all the files that reside. There's some that you can, you know, ignore, but if we come back, we can just, I wanna go ahead and CD to this as well on on this side. So now what we can do, if we just go ahead and look how to use it, you can just, I wanna copy this so you can see how easy it is. Let's copy this and we can go ahead and paste it and run it. And obviously this is a little big, so let me see if I can make that. Let me kill that really quick. Let me see if I can do this. Let me make it a little smaller. So yeah, we can see DS Viper. All right, so here, let me try to make it a little bigger so we can see. Let me move this over a little bit because I don't really need too much of this space. Uh, let's move this over. All right, so what we need here is your attacker's IP machine, uh, IP address for your machine. So I can just do an if config really quick, ETH zero, and we can see I'm at 192.168.100.200. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. So make sure you copy that IP address and throw it in here. Let me just, whoops. Oh, geez, I can't. Let me try to do that again, okay? So what port, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, eliminate that. So what port do you wanna run it on? We can do it on any port. Let's, for an example, let's do 8888. You know, just for shits and giggles. So here we have two choices for the payload in this video i'm going to do the netcat and maybe i'll make another one on meterpreter but i'm just going to do netcat today so you can see how it works so i want to do number one let me make this a little larger so you guys can see number one okay so we have the stealthy we have moderate or high i'm just going to go ahead and do moderate for now let's just do one okay and now this is gonna go ahead and do its thing and create the payload. All right, so let that do its thing. And now it made this dsviper1.exe, right? So now if we just ls, we can see this executable right here is the payload that we wanna to get to the victim machine, right? So now what we can do is do, we can just, <clears throat> we can run Python 3, oops. I can spell correctly. Uh, hold on. Let me just do this. P Y. There we go. Now I spelled it correctly. 
So now we're going to run a web server that resides in this directory so we can pull this down. And however, you know, in the real world, you maybe you have like some phishing, you can get this to the victim and have them click on it, blah, blah, blah. Just for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and go to my Windows 10 machine. And you can see here, you know, I just updated it. I updated my, my uh, antivirus. Everything is good to go. You can see the protection. Let's go to home. Everything is on, right? Everything is all good in the hood. So now let me go ahead and open up, I don't know, Brave Browser. And yeah, that's not what I'm... Uh, let me, I think it was 200, right? Uh, let me come here. It was 200. And here we go. Okay, so this is pointing to my Kali machine. So my Kali machine is the one that's hosting these files. So what I want to do is download the VS Viper one dot exe. And then we're going to go ahead and try to get a shell. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to do a listener on here. So let me do net whoop, not there. Sorry, let's do this over here. Netcat listener. Um, what I put that I put eight. I, I don't remember what, what, uh, what, what did I use? Uh, eight, 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 eight. Okay. Eight, 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 eight. Okay. <laughs> My memory shot. All right. So now this is listening. So once I execute this VS Viper, the DS Viper one dot exe, fingers crossed, we get a shell, right? So I want to go ahead and just click on this. I want to download it. All right, so I want to leave it right here in my downloads. That's totally fine for me. Let's go ahead and download it. And we'll go ahead and keep it. And look, antivirus didn't delete it, right? That's pretty neat. So now, let me stop my alarm. So now, we can just right click on this and open. And yeah, we can say whatever, because it's not a, an un, unknown publisher run anyways. Now this is running. Now let's come over to the Kali machine. Bam, we have a shell. Who am I? I'm Patrick, win 10 VM. We can do who am I, who am I slash priv. We can see all the privileges. We can do whatever we want, IP or IP config. And we can see that we're on this machine, host name, Okay, you can see that we're Win 10 VM. So we have full control over this machine now. So that is pretty neat. So the last thing I wanna showcase really quick, I wanna come over uh, and I wanna go ahead and right click on this and scan with Windows Defender. So we scan and it says detection, blah, 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 nothing, right? Like we can see that it's skipped because, you know, and now you can see the protection history Let's see, look, nothing, nothing is showing up here and we can do a quick scan. It takes a, it's not really that quick. It takes a few minutes, but let's see, I'm, I'll, I'll wait and see if it, uh, if it catches it. And while that's scanning, I'll take a sip of tea just because I'm thirsty. Oh, a sip of tea and I'm thirsty. All right, let's see how long this actually takes. All right, there we go. It's finished. Zero threats found, as you can see here. And that's pretty much con con gonna conclude this video. So this is an awesome tool. Like I said, I wanna thank my two friends that actually developed this and gave me the opportunity to showcase this tool. Don't worry, I wanna use the interpreter and I know they're working on some other cool stuff on this tool. And as they develop more stuff, Maybe I'll showcase more, but that's it for today. Hopefully you found it informative. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and definitely give a thumbs up to my buddies and I will tag them in the description below and you can follow them and, uh, you know, show them love and support because they deserve it. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.